In the previous video, I introduced CP and I covered its installation process. If you haven't already, you can check out the previous video by following the link in the video description. Today's topic is centered around the practical usage of CP integrated scenarios. We'll take a closer look at how to effectively utilize these scenarios to test our CP infrastructure and improve its performance. As a user agent client or UAS, CP has the capability to initiate SIP sessions by sending SIP requests to a specific destination like a SIP server. To demonstrate this functionality, I've set up a simple lab environment with one asterisk and one user registered on my server. I have created a user named Omid and I have defined extension 1001 to call this user. To send calls to our Asterisk server and CP user Omid, or I can say extension 1001, we are using CP UAC integrated scenario. So uh, for such a, a standard testing, we usually do not need to write our own XML or uh, custom scenario. We can simply use the integrated scenarios and use the CP uh, command and parameters to performance test and see the analytics. The UAC scenario in CP is a basic scenario that sends a SIP invite request to a specific destination IP address and port. The scenario then waits for a second and validates the response against the expected response. Let's see how it works by some examples. In the first example, we send six calls to our SIP server and each call will have a duration of 20,000 milliseconds or 20 seconds. Option SD is to load default embedded CP scenarios and here we have specified we want to use UAC scenario. Dash D controls the length of the call. Here our calls are 20 seconds. Dash S sets the username of the CP request URI. We want to call 1001 so that's why we put 1001 in front of dash S. And finally option dash M it stops the test and exit when X number of calls are processed. Here we want to send six calls, so uh, option M value is six. Let's test this example in our server. I have my ASCII server and also my CP instance. I want to send uh, calls to my server, ASCII server, extension 1001, and when it answers, it waits for uh, 20 seconds and also I want to send six calls. Let's see how it works. As you can see, as I'm running the CP command, it uh, sends call to my asterisk and my Zoiper is ringing. If I answer any of these calls, let's answer one of them and reject the rest. After 20 seconds, this call will drop as well because we set the duration of dash d to uh, 20,000 milliseconds or 20 seconds. As you can see exactly at the uh, second 20 the uh, call is disconnected so and you can see here the output of our testing. How many calls did we send? Uh, we sent six calls and what was the uh, limit uh, 60 that's not what we set right now so we are sending to port 50 60 the total time of the test you can see here the length of the call that you can see it's uh, 20,000 milliseconds and also you can see how many failed calls as you can remember I rejected five calls and I just answered one of them so you can see the result and the statistics in the output in the second example, we limit the rate of calls by using dash R and dash RP options. Dash R sets the call rate and dash RP specifies the rate period for the call rate. For example, dash R2, dash RP 10,000 means two calls every 10 seconds. So what we have changed here from the previous example, we just added dash R and dash RP. Uh, if you can recall in the previous example, it sends six calls at the same time, but now we want to control this rate and we send two concurrent calls uh, every 10 seconds. So 
uh, I can say in second five and in second 10, you will receive a call. So that the call rate is actually two calls per 10 seconds. Let's run it in our server. So here I added dash r2 dash rp10,000 to the previous command. So I want to keep a rate of two concurrent calls every 10 seconds. In a way, it means that it should send me a call at second five and second 10 so that it can keep this rate. Let's see if it works like that or not. So I'm just starting. As you can see, I didn't receive any call yet. And at second five, I'm receiving the first call. At second 10, I'm receiving the second call. Let's reject them. At second 15. So I will receive total of six calls, but the call rate is always two call per 10 seconds. So it means that uh, it needs to send the calls every five seconds. CP provides several trace log options that allows users to log different type of SIP messages or errors during the testing. For example, dash trace message, this option logs all SIP messages, requests and response to a file. Or for example, trace that short message, this option logs only the SIP message headers and not the body. In this example, we have added some of these options that you can test yourself in your own lab. You can get a list of other options by running cp-help. My goal was to show you using cp is not difficult and you won't need to write your own custom scenarios for a lot of use cases and you can use integrated ones. In the next video, we will discuss about UAS integrated scenario in the cp. Thanks for watching.